guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and we're gonna break down this classic Almond Brothers tune. Uh, and it's thanks to my patrons on Patreon. So they voted for me to teach this song, so I thank you. If you wanna check out uh, being a patron for my uh, Patreon channel, check the links below. Also, if you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing here to Marty Music, clicking the bell notification. All right, let's jam. All right, I'm gonna talk about the rhythm guitar for a moment. The intro, E major, and actually the guitar's like 3% sharp to standard tuning, the recording, but anyway, they're playing it in E. So you got E. Two, three, four, singing, now we're singing. Da, 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 da. So, E to A, so ba, ba, da, 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 A, ba, da, da, da. And then the guitar is going down these little double stops. Um, six on the G and five on the B, so it's like a piece of an A chord. And then a whole step down, and then covering that like it's an A chord again, to an E chord. So, E, A. Then E to the D. A, A, E, two, three, four, bam, into the verse. Uh, so with that intro, I was always going off of a live version, but I went back to the original, and here's what you got. You got the E major pentatonic, also known as the Dickie Bet scale. So it starts on the seventh of the A, and then ring finger goes up to nine, slides to 11. And then over on the D string, nine, 11. Then we're gonna do it up an octave, so you just roll over to the Nine of the G. So that uh, nine, 11, slide to 13. And then 12, 14 on the B. Then you're grabbing that high E right here on the um, 12th fret high E. Now you could bend. That 14. It's gonna be cleaner to hit that 12th fret, but you could bend 14 up to the 17. Or slide 14 to 17 and then it's back on the 14. So 14 on the B, then I'm gonna hop over to the 13 of the G and slide down a whole step right when I pick it. And then a uh, little E major lick there. So it's 11 on the G up to the, just think of this 
box or the you know the 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 home row pentatonic shape in the E major form and that it's extension live they would play there's a little lick there but I, on the original recording piano is kind of covering that but you have another you know one guitar that rhythm's playing e d a e you got the dun 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 There's going to be a lot of stuff in this kind of major pentatonic, you know, the that kind of stuff as well, which I think, you know, you can embellish and fill. Um, so that vibe is still the same home row scale, but you're covering the 12th fret of the B and high E. And then the G, you're going, you know... Lots of that southern rock in that little spot there. So from the uh, you got the rhythm guitar, and then you got the lead. So now back to rhythm, um, the verse. E to the B, A to the E. It's just E to B, E. A, 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 hold on, A. And then there's going to be a lead part, but the chords are E, 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 B, B, A. And then back to another now. The next verse. Don't cry to the E B. Just A down to E. E E E A B. A hold on that A again. That was this is all the same. But the the second lead line, the chords are a little different. It's easy. It's just do 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 E E E E A A A A A. So just E to A on that second, after that second verse. So let's go back to the first verse, just to review it, play it with me. Uh, so let's see. Ba ba da do da ba da ba da 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 two, three, four. E to the B, A to the E, 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 B, B. Hold on, A, two, three, four, two, three. Now. to a verse. Don't cry, Mr. B. A to the E. E, e to B. E. Hold on A again. Now this is the next lead. E, 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 A, 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 A. Now here's the chorus. Starts on a B. B my A chord. B back to A. going to be some different ways to play Turn your love my way, way. so e, B, A, e to the A B, A, e to the A, A, A this chord 
solo extravaganza from there. But, um, so, uh, turn your love my way. It's an E major chord, way, but the bass is playing F sharp. So if you're in a band and you go, turn your love my way, you could play a little triad, way, way, you could play an E major right there, but the bass is going way. Um, so one way to hit it, if you're just like, if you were to play this on acoustic, like an acoustic cover, you're going to want to play this. Getting that F sharp there, and then we're playing the piece of the E major triad up here. So it'd be like fifth on the B, fourth on the G, and then over to that second fret. which we haven't done yet. So that would be the So we can call that uh, verse lick one and then verse lick two is Um, so there's two, and there's harmonies, obviously. But two guitars, right? So here we go. Uh, verse lick one. And that's just following the E major pentatonic. So 11 on the G string, bent up a whole step, then natural. Then nine, 11, nine on the D. Then 11 on the A, nine, 11, seven. That little tag is uh, seven and nine. So we can call this the main guitar part, not the harmony. Right? Okay, so then the other one that happens before the chorus. That one, the, the melody, not the harmony, so the main line. Bending. Then all the way through another verse, and then the next line starts with that. So on the E string, seven, nine, and then on the A string, seven, nine, slide to 11. And then nine on the D. then nine on the G. 11, slide to 13. Bend a half step. Natural. 11. Now the B chord of the chorus, which a guitar is playing 
just trailing off the note of that. But if you're playing it live, you'd probably want to go. But the recording. All right. So those are the, the lines, not the harmony. So now let's talk about the harmonies. Okay. So after that first verse, that harmony. the harmony to so we're 14 on the G bent up a whole step then natural then 13 11 then 14 to 11 14 on the A, 11 on the D, and then 12 on the A. Uh, so, Now the, I might have mixed that one might be the one going. But a harmony with that lick, that's what you would do. And it would sound like that. So a harmony, instead of, the other one could go on the A string to that, to the six on the D. So that is uh, the harmony. Now, uh, of the first refrain, the second line harmony is based on this one. So now we need to learn the harmony that goes with that, that plays along with it. All right, so the harmony to that now is... Could, that last note could be the B chord as well. So uh, seven to nine on the A, and then six, seven, nine. So and then hop over to that nine of the G, and then boom, nine of the B. 10, 12, 14, back down, 12, 10, and then the B chord, so. So if one guitar is going. Then the other one can do. So uh, those are the main harmony lines on that on the recording. It jams out in the E major pentatonic. Um, it goes through those same parts again. And uh, yeah, I think it's a good jump off point for you guys. So I hope it helped. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Also, thanks again to my patrons on Patreon for helping uh, support Marty Music and helping me decide to teach this song. Hope you guys had a good time. Feel free to request in the comments below. And while you're down there, I appreciate you liking the video, subscribing here to Marty Music. Thanks again. We'll see you later.